Hello there guys, it is as uh, another pointless as video, but this is coming to you from a tutorial. Now, I thought I might show you how to make an operating system, so I'm going to call this series um, Let's Make an Operating System on PowerPoint. Because PowerPoint can be used for many different things, but people think it's just for presentations. Yes, presentation, but you know, just wiggling around on my chair. So, I'm using PowerPoint 2013. Now, there are a few differences, the layout, and there are a few more transitions, etc. You can use 2010, things might be different places, but you can roughly follow along. Now, the way we're going to make this is... We're going to make this based a little bit on... Well, we're going to do a bit of everything, so we might make it kind of like Metro, because... We'll just make something simple, because with my operating system, I need I've needed to like design everything on Photoshop and that kind of stuff. So now part one is going to be the load up and what that's going to look like. So let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is this is where it's going to say like welcome to or whatever it's going to be. So let's insert text box. Let's call it um, my OS. Actually, let's call it operating system. I spelled that wrong already. Operating system me. Basically, operating system me. So we're going to keep that as a Calibri, but we're going to make it Calibri light -like because it makes it look much better. Change this to white, even though you can't see it at the moment, you'll know why in a second. Go to design, format, background. Now you can choose whatever colour you want, but I like to use these colours, so maybe we'll have a nice green. That looks nice. Uh, size this up a bit. And... What we shall need to do is just let's get it up really. And then what we can do is we can go into drawing format and then align, distribute horizontally, distribute vertically. So at the moment it just does that. So now what we can do is we can just make it animations just a quick maybe like a fade in and then we can make it um, off previous so now if we hit F5 oh wait yeah but you get the idea um, if you click on this little tab here what you can do is you can set the timing so maybe you can do two seconds it fades in so it gives it a nice. My my thing's a bit glitchy at the moment, so we've got that. So now the next thing we want to do is we need to time it. So we need to then go transitions, then after. Now for a fact, I know that this is two seconds because that's how long the transition is. So then it'll go operating system me and end. So what we're going to do next is going to duplicate this slide. And this is where we're gonna start getting all the technical stuff. Yay, technical! It's not good, people. No. Right. So we're gonna do. So we're gonna do. Sorry about that. Door opened. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go animations. Go down. Um, you may need to just do the add animation for this part. This is one of the parts where it will be slightly different uh, let's make it about there like that yeah make it about there um, so what this will do is it will then bring system me fade down like that and whilst that's doing that we can now design oh, uh, we can now design our, what our loading system loading thing is going to look like now we can make this loading thing look in like 
any way we want. Now for this particular one, what I thought I might do, because that can do that, what I might do is, you can just like modify this. So it can be like, the loading could just be like that, and then what we can do is then, uh, we can change it. So I could use that, and then shape outline, no outline. So that, that, that looks nice, like that. But we're going to put it in the middle anyway. So this is going to fade in um, for two seconds that we're going to make it. Animations. And we're going to make it fade in, but we're going to make it fade in two seconds though, so two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this we can click it, there we go, with previous, so it will go like that. And once it's faded in, what we can now do is we can do add an animation and do spin. And what this will do is it will spin it. Well, that's what it's supposed to do because it's called spin, isn't it? So this is going to be uh, with previous. But we're gonna go to animation now. This is you can. This is what we can do is we can time it, and I'm gonna repeat this maybe three times. So we'll do that. So this means that it will end at six. So go to transitions, and then go to six, like so. So now if we play it, operating system ME. Oh, if we want to make it look even more fancy, what we could also do is we can do animations, add animation, line. So that also then goes up. So we can then do with previous, but then we can make it go upwards like so. Instead of having to do that, we can just make it about there. So now, we'll just do Shift F5. So now we'll do that, and it will look better. So, uh, well, now you can choose. Now you can do maybe have a little pattern in the background, like a little gradient. So we can go to Design, Format Background, Colour more colours actually I don't know if you can oh gradient fill and then you can add colours or something but I'm just gonna keep it to solid colour you can mess you can mess around with like gradient fill and stuff uh, at the moment so yeah that's the basic part of the first tutorial let's build an operating system on PowerPoint this will only be kind of like so you can show it off. This won't actually be how to make a proper, proper kind of like volume adjusting, web searching. This is just so you can maybe just show it off on a YouTube video or something. This won't actually work like proper, properly. You'll still be able to like log in and it will still be able to look like it's an operating system. But yeah, just to let you know, you won't be able to like go on Google and search up stuff and YouTube. And you know, but anyway, um this has been a pointless as and the first ch installment on how to make an operating system see you guys